Thailand is a beautiful and affordable place to explore, but prices do vary depending on where and when you visit. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we are sharing how to visit Thailand on a budget. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, travel during low season. So prices rocket up during the high season from October through to March. When possible, travel to Thailand between April and September to save money on airfare, accommodation, car rentals and even food. However, this is the rainy season, so visit in September and October to avoid the heavy rain and the heat of April. If you are paying for hotels and hostels on arrival, it is easier to haggle prices during the low season as many rooms will be empty around this time of the year. Another way to save some money is to avoid touristy destinations. The southern islands of Thailand are cheap compared to the rest of the world, but they can be expensive as well. Enjoy beautiful Thailand destinations such as Koh Chang or Koh Lanta, rather than the touristy spots of Phuket and Koh Samui, to save money on practically everything. Additionally, there are touristy areas in Bangkok that are worth staying in, but staying just outside of these areas will get you better value hostels and hotels. For example, staying near Sakhambit Road is a popular option, but the further away from the old town you are, the cheaper hotel rates tend to be. Another thing to note is to leave the taxis. So during rush hours and in certain areas of Bangkok, taxis are known to quote higher prices for a journey. Even in Bangkok traffic, it is still cheaper to use the taxi meter, which all taxis should be doing anyway. Some taxi drivers even like to take you by a friend's tailor shop, which is just a hassle. If a taxi driver refuses to use the meter, then just get out and find another taxi. Chances are there'll be one driving past within a few minutes. Alternatively, you could use the Grab app. This is very similar to Uber. And if you don't have data on your phone whilst you're in Thailand, go to a nearby shop or restaurant and ask them to help you order one instead. Traveling on overnight buses can also be an affordable way to get around Thailand. Overnight buses and trains are much cheaper than the day buses, whilst also saving you money of a hotel or hostel for the night. Buses around Asia are now pretty comfortable for a bus and come with air conditioning. The bus will still stop at convenience stores on the way so you can buy hot food, drinks and snacks so the trip will be longer. There are also plenty of options to choose from and trips rarely sell out. Whilst you're in Thailand, you must visit Northern Thailand. So Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai are considerably cheaper cities than Bangkok and the nearby destinations. A night bus from Bangkok to Chiang Mai costs around 900 baht, with apartments costing as little as 2,000 baht per month. In general, visiting the lesser, off-the-beaten-track destinations in Thailand will always be cheaper than the more popular destinations. Next up, negotiate with tuk-tuk drivers. So tuk-tuk drivers can be found in the popular cities of Thailand, particularly in Bangkok. If you are taking a tuk-tuk, make sure to negotiate a decent price, finalize the price before you get in, and make sure they take you exactly where you want to go. Our next tip is to buy a local SIM card. So like most places, if you are staying in Thailand for some time, then pick up a local SIM card and make sure your phone is unlocked so that you can use the SIM card. True Move is a popular option, but all package deals and pay-as-you-go deals are pretty decent. 
Also, make sure to enjoy the free attractions. No matter where you are in Thailand, there are always temples, monasteries, Buddhas, farms, beaches, waterfalls, forests, and so on that are completely free. Do your research and spend some time visiting these. Check out our website, thatbangkoklife.com, for free things to do guides for many destinations in Thailand. Our next tip, avoid Western food. So we all love a pizza or McDonald's from time to time, but if you are trying to save some money in Thailand, then don't start hitting up Western chain restaurants. Head to local restaurants or a market and eat like a king for very little. Next, drink the local beer. Singa, Tiger and Leo are all considerably cheaper than imported brands of beer, so stick to them when drinking out in bars and restaurants. Trains are also a cheap way to see Thailand and travel long distances. Just make sure to browse the best times and routes for you and book in advance if you are visiting during peak season. And if you are going to fly, make sure to check out the budget airlines. So we aren't big fans of the overnight buses and long train journeys. And if you are traveling on a short period of time, flights are perfect for you. You can fly from Bangkok to Phuket with airlines such as Air Asia for as little as a thousand back. Always check those budget airline websites directly as they often have some great deals on there. Watch this video for things to know before you go to Bangkok. To help you plan your trip to Thailand, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in this beautiful country and stay creative.